Hello, I'm Ed Rizim and welcome to Planet Zoo. Now, I streamed a whole bunch of this earlier because I was trying to figure out how to how to get into it, how to really just go nuts and quickly dive in and chuck a load of animals down. And I ended up breeding uh, cute little wolf cubs and having snow leopards just in a thing and got some bears and got some crocodiles and only one animal died, so I call that a win. So we're going to dive in and we are going to play Korea and I think we will start with Maple Leaf Wildlife Park. Now I did play a little bit of this on stream, but we're going to start a new map with this. Because while we could start with sandbox, unfortunately for me, the sandboxes are all just flat. Like, there's no terrain. And honestly, one of the things I really like is like trying to work the terrain into the zoo. Like, being like, hey, there could be a thing against that like cliff face. And maybe that river, we could have crocodiles in it and stuff. Rather than being like, I have to make all the terrain. It's like, work. China, I got a bit of uh, good news, better news situation for you. The good news is that I'm promoting you to Apprentice Zoo Manager. Woo! The better news is, you get to build a new zoo from scratch. That Yay! Said, you will be on your own this time. No help from Nancy. Yay! Although she wishes you luck. So, I suppose it's actually more of a good news, better news, and then mm, slightly worse news situation. Either way, it's a chance for you to really prove yourself. Now, cool. For this zoo, I want to see a good few different habitats. Now this mission is actually called and at least as Eye of guess, the Tiger. Because like the you. biome is Tiger Keep biome. Your staff nice and happy as much as you can. And obviously the same is true of the animals as well. Oh, and uh, yeah. let's see. I uh, yeah. It's good you pun. should try to turn a good size profit to boot. Okay, so money, I got that. We can do this. Work elsewhere. There. That should keep you going for a while. <laughs> I'll check in with you later. Good luck. So, uh, there were three missions before this. There's a tutorial mission. This is the first mission where they kind of let you go, hey, just do zoo stuff. Uh, not everything's fully unlocked. For instance, I can go to the terrain manager here, and you'll see that we don't have uh, the ability to actually change our terrain very much. But we do have a lovely, lovely park in which we can build a whole load of stuff. It's not that big a park, unless it's taken up by a river. I'm guessing that's why they disabled the terrain, just to be like, hey, you can't just remove the river. Fine. Nah. Anyway, uh, we will need to get three habitat species and 350 guests. Sure, we can do that. Now, first things first, we are going to go to path. And we will get ourselves a bit of path there. And then line to grid. Just extend this path forwards. And then... Uh, don't align to grid. There. Sweet. Now, this is just one of the things where I need to just get that bridge hooked up, because it annoys me if it's not hooked up. It, just, it needs to be hooked up. Uh, right. So, this is our zoo. There's nothing in it. I mean, there's trees, but it's not really a zoo. That's just, you know, a forest. Or even just a bit of scrubland that just happens to have some trees. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so let's have a look at animal trading. We can't because we don't have an animal center. Okay, we're going to need to buy some things just to get this place up and running. One of them is going to need to be an animal center. That allows us to like buy and trade animals so that we can have like a zoo. Otherwise, again, we have a forest. Or a piece of scrubland with a tree. So... I'm thinking we could put stuff up here. And then start building our actual zoo menagerie over here as well. But I kind of want to keep them central. So we'll probably just build them here-ish, but I don't want to put them too close to where our guests are going. Guests don't like seeing, like, uh, what's it called? Um, service buildings. Like, they don't like seeing a workshop and a lab and stuff. They're like, I want to see animals and also candy floss machines and ATMs. I just want it to be like in the wild, you know? I don't want to see, you know, workshops or whatever. Um, they're very particular, so they don't like seeing service buildings. So we should probably try and hide them. Mm. 
Could put them on here. Just run a path down. I mean, I don't know if here's just gonna be more visible. Or whether it's gonna be just far enough away from the path. Like, is it a distance from the path or is it a line of sight thing? Either way, what I think what we'll do is just place it here, because we're not going to use this for anything else, really. So, eh. Delete. Delete. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Uh, staff facilities. And I'm just going to use the prefabs now. Like, if you've played uh, Planet coaster before, you'll understand that oh, you can just build the building. It's a box. That way you can put multiple boxes together and then put them in over a big awning and be like, this is a mall or whatever. Uh, whereas if we grab this, this is a prefabbed one. Like It's already got like an awning and a, a roof and cladding on it. Like It makes it pretty. And a sign, obviously. Um, you don't need to do that, but it makes it look prettier. It has, as far as I'm aware, no mechanical benefit. Maybe it has like a aesthetic benefit of some kind, but uh, we'll place you here. Uh, the Keeper Hut, I'm actually going to save because that needs to be a bit closer. Research Center. Keeper Huts basically want nearer to your actual animals. Stath Room. Trade Center. There we go. Vet Surgery. Um, I wonder if we can actually fit this on here. Maybe? Workshop. And then uh, the Keeper Hut, but we'll do all that in a minute. Like, can we actually do this? Let's go Staff Path. A Staff Path. Staff Path basically is like, hey, only staff can go on this, as you might guess. Yeah, that's not a fit. Can I move you back? I know what we can do. We'll move you to here. Move that to there. Can you fit alongside? No. Okay, well that doesn't matter. We'll just make a little bit more space. And then put these in the corner there. Oh, that one won't fit. See, this was going to look beautiful. Like there was going to be... Oh, oh. There we go, right. And then research center. Right. Path. Just gonna delete those and then recreate them. There we go. And I'm thinking we just probably want to bring the path down here. Oh, what we should do is make like a little shopping area just as, as soon as they come in, like off to the side. So I know this is this is a zoo game. I'm meant to be working on animals. But we need to be able to pay for the animals, right? What we said about a profit. 
there we go. So, facility. Guest facilities. Chief beef. Now, we could use the prefabs again. We could put one. You know what? We will use the prefabs on this occasion. Mostly just because I have an idea what I want to do for them. So, place you there, and then place one back to back. Now, because these are both prefabs, I can't snap it to the existing prefab, whereas if I was building something else, I could. There we go. Now, these are just empty shells. As you look inside, you'll see there's nothing in there, but we can go Chief Beef, click to add to prefab. Bam. Uh, we'll want soda next to it. And I think I just duplicated that. Whoops. We need an information center. And loony balloons, because people love balloons. Loony balloons. Uh... Let's go to width six. No, we'll actually use a line to grid on this. So a line to grid. Hi, I'll only use you for the grid. And then deselect the grid. Line to grid, select you. Why is it not working? You should be like connecting to the front of the store. Deselect grid. Select grid. There we go. Deselect grid. There we go. And then we can connect people like that. And like that. There we go. Beautiful. Which brings us back to the staff path, which we will use. Length of two. And then up. Now, annoyingly in this game, the shortcuts for up and down are completely different depending on what object you're touching. Like, if you are holding onto a building or a piece of a building, it's shift. If you're holding onto a path, it's U and J. That's one of the things I really kind of dislike about this game. Like, I like a lot about this game, and it's the same with Planet Coaster, right? I like a lot about this game and Planet Coaster, but their UX is terrible, and that's the user experience. It's not, okay, it's not terrible. That's a bad word. It's not great. Their U... I, which is the interface here, is generally fine, but the experience of using it is a completely different matter. Uh, I wonder if we can maybe make that like a little less harsh. Nah, yeah, I can't bother. Right, that connects everything there. We still need a um, handyman worky shed handlers area, but that'll do for now. Uh, we want to put ourselves in a couple of species. We've got this set up. It all looks pretty good. Let's go animal trading. What animals are there? Tortoises, bison, wildebeest, uh, black bears, they need climbing stuff, grizzly bears, they don't need climbing stuff, peafowl, macaques, nyala, ring-tailed lemur, antelope, saltwater crocs, snow leopards, Wolves and apes. Although apes cost a lot of conservation points, we only have a thousand. Like we can't even get this ape. He's considered 
I think this is like a bronze award for genetics. Yeah, his genetics are all pretty good. Whereas, yeah, you've got no size and you've got no longevity, fertility, or immunity. So that tends to be like a mark of genetic like usefulness for breeding. Like you can breed animals together and then release them to the wild to get more conservation credits. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably do. The downside about wolves is they actually need a very large area. I'm thinking we go snow leopards. There are a lot of them available. And look at this one. That is like the, what's it called? The attractiveness to people. To be like, ooh, I want to come see this thing. If we go to the Zoopedia. It comes from Asia. It lives in the Tega, so the biome we're currently in, which is great. It needs no climbing. It does need 705 square meters of land. Doesn't need any water. It needs a higher than three meter fence, which is grade two and climb proof. Because, you know, cats. It needs up to one male, up to one female. So we need a male and a female. And then they'll breed. And age of sexual maturity, 15 to 20 years estimated. So we want them below 20 years to get them to, you know, make more. Sure. Okay. So let's get ourselves some snow leopards. Uh, you know what we can just do? We can filter the species list. Annoyingly, there's no like just like a like a magnifying symbol search where you just go click snow leopard. Just type S N O. Instead, there are 73 species. Um, I think a third of them are in the exi the exhibit trading. Like 50 of them are in animal. So we'll go with, through 50 in a drop down like this to be able to select snow leopard, and then we've got to pick which one's the best. Now I'm gonna quickly go through the stats and have a look. Okay, as much as I want this one, which has really good longevity, so we'd have this snow leopard for ages, uh, the cost is just incredibly high. Like, that's insane. I'm not even sure if I can be bothered to pay the difference between these two. <clears throat> I think in the end, we'll probably go for this one, just because it's relatively cheap. And then this one as well. The two cheapest. And that's going to bring us down to just under 400 conservation credits. Eek. So, where are they going to live? I think they have to live close to the entrance. Because we need people to see stuff as they come in. Because annoyingly, they don't like traveling around the park. People are very bad at actually circulating around your park. So we need them to come and see the most important thing early on. That means either here, which they'd have a bit of water, which they don't need. Um, they wouldn't complain about it, I don't think. I just think they'd be like, uh, we don't count that as land. Or we could put them here. Yeah, that's what I think we'll do. If we put one path going this way and a path going this way, we can put them in the diamond here, block off a couple of walls to give them some privacy. Uh, so we will want path, path. I don't want to, you know, we'll just delete that temporarily. And then you'll also want to be meeting up with There we go. Right. And then back to four. Neat. That looks pretty good. Right. Barrier. Now, it was what? A class three non climbable more than three meters or something like that. Now, glass is grade two. 
so it probably won't do the job. Glass is just like, hey, I just made a glass barrier, and then people can be like, oh, look at the things inside, and then the things get out and kill them. Wood logs are grade three, but are clamble, which is not good. Um, corrugate is not clamble, grade two. Chain link is clamble, grade two. Hedge is grade one. Red brick. I think it's going to be brick then. Brick's the only thing we've got. So we will... Place you here. Make this a window section as well. That's going to look weird if you've got one long window. You know what? We're going to have to make sure the windows are the same distance apart. Oh, that's a lot better. Right. And I don't don't think they need much more. Like, I could go the full distance here, but that's going to be way bigger than what they need. So... Could just cut it here. Yeah, we'll try cutting it there and see what the, like, the size is. Can we see the details of this habitat? Edit barrier. Habitat. How big are you? I swear there's a way to find out how big a certain habitat is. Well, one of the easiest ways to deal with this is just to basically have animals go in. Then when the animal's inside, we can easily bring up the size of the thing. So, just make the changes afterwards, I guess. What we will do then is we have to select this. It's only two meters tall by default and bring it up to three. There we go. Now, this is horrific. Like, any animal inside, this is going to be stressed out like hell and back really big windows no privacy yeah they're gonna hate this so uh, we will put in a habitat gate probably here on the basis we don't want people congregating around here anyway and then Habitat. Oh, there we go. It need the habitat gate. Land air. Yeah, that land air is acceptable. It needs to be 720 and it's 800, so that's plenty. Uh, we will need to devise an area where they can get some privacy. So what we'll do is we will edit barrier, edit that to turn off the glass. And same there. And then same there, because obviously there's no path there. That might be enough. Some species have a much bigger need for privacy than others. Um, I know like when I was playing around with black bears, they were like, I am stressed. Okay, calm down. Probably going to be fine with snow leopards. Uh, so, view animal market, uh, then go to animal storage, select them all. And move them in to the habitat. There we go. Now, of course, to do that, we're actually going to need to hire ourselves some staff because we need people to move our animals. So we're going to get a caretaker, which reminds me, we need to get some bins, uh, a keeper or two, a mechanic or two, because I want one researching, security guard. Uh, vendors actually get hired with them, but they need people to switch out with. So 
So we'll hire two vendors. And then a vet, and we'll get two again, because one of them will do research for us. And now... Uh, we will grab ourselves a keeper hut. It's annoying that I'm going to have to, like, place it near here and people will be able to see it. I kind of want to keep it out of the way. Like, we could keep it out of the way over here. But we might end up using this space. I mean, I guess we could put it over there and always move it later. Could put it here on the basis of it's around the back from that. Terrain modification failed. Too close to the uh, thing. Right, uh, you know what? We'll place it here. And we'll change that path to make it a... Whoops. There we go. Staff path so no one gets too close to it. All right, go do the things. Set our time. Also, you have to rebind the space key, because the space key, by default, does something completely different that is pointless. Uh, whereas P is pause. And, you know, you want your space key to be pause. Hello! Ah. Wow. Rawr. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, so, they don't have a lot of the stuff they want. Um, actually, they've got most of the stuff they want. They don't want any plants. They want, like, zero plant coverage. Terrain. Hard shelter. Okay, they want a shelter, which they don't have. And they want less grass. A bit more rock. And some snow. Okay, yeah, we can we can do that. <gasps> Hi there. Hi. I'm going to come back to you in a bit. Your animations are really fun, and you look really cool. But I want to make you have, like, a lovely shelter first. So... Let's start off by going to the filter and annoyingly again typing snow leopard. Like if I type snow leopard over here. No. Because I just searched his name. So let's go species all the way to the bottom. Snow leopard. And we can use one of these like pre-built shelters. Give you some bedding. Oh, actually, uh, there we go. What else do you need? A large food tray? Yeah, and we'll keep the food tray over here so that it's like in view of people who are coming to look. I think we'll probably want to get a cooler as well. And that might be able to affect the entire thing. Because they'll want like a nice low temperature. So we'll try and set it to like minus one. And that should make snow a possibility. In theory. Uh, we'll also get a water pipe. And we'll put the water pipe. There. So they've got water. They've got food. Uh, no real toys. Because, unfortunately, we don't really have any toys to them. Like, we could give them a climbable branch or something. And we could give them, a, like, a log. Don't put it too near that, or they'll actually jump out. That's the thing. They do that. And then... There we go. I can climb up to there now. Um, right, neat. Terrain. Uh, now they said they wanted... They were fine with more rock, but they wanted a lot less in the way of grass, so... 
We're going to just remove the grass from here. And then we're going to give him snow. Now, snow will actually melt. But that cooler should keep it alive. Uh... Oh! You came injured? Oh no! And what about you? You want snow? We're working on it. It's going to take a while for this to tick up to temperature. Yeah, so this leather's been boxed up, so they can take it to the vet. There we go. Yeah. All green. 100% hard shelter, 100% terrain. You love the environment. Your food enrichment's terrible. Um, and that's going to happen until you actually get fed. And honestly, we've only got grade one food because we haven't researched you yet. And no toy enrichment because we don't have toys for you. But... We can look at you and be like, ah, oh, you're so pretty. And that appears to be floating. So pretty. Right. Uh, you know what we can do? Is we can name them. Now, I, uh, just going to do a quick spiel here. You know, bit of a shell. Um, I have a Patreon name list. So people who support me on Patreon, a certain tier and above, get chucked into a hat, and then I draw people from the hat and use their names to go into games and stuff. There we go. Done. And that means that you are going to be... Kalodi. Hello. Kalodi. Uh, we'll also want to name the habitat. We'll name you Snow Lep. Lepard. It's not a bit habitat. There we go. And then if we go to our zoo and go to vet research, we can get one of our vets working on snow leopards. Now, we could also research some of the diseases that happen. Injured. Uh, unbox animal. I thought you got boxed because of some other reason, but apparently you just got boxed because of moving stuff around. I'm going to call a vet to you because you're injured. There's a vet on route. Sweet. Uh, and we will rename you to... Narcissus. XL. There we go. Serious injury discovered. Vet called. And yoink! They just fly into your hands like that. That's that's how that happens. And you are walking on the spot and turning around. Okay. And you're also inside someone else. That seems like things that shouldn't be happening in the world. Now you're going sideways. Huh. I haven't seen that before. That's an interesting bug. Now you're running backwards. Sideways again. But at least you got to the vet. That's that's what matters. Okay. That's a bit weird. Now, one of the big issues we have right now is people are coming in. They're paying an entry fee. But that's not where you make most of your money. You make most of your money at donation boxes. So, scatter them liberally around your park. Like so. Uh, we also probably want to get like an ATM nearby. Probably keep them from going here because you can see that like people are going to start filling up. Uh, we'll probably want to put them... You're not here on this end.
Now what else do we need? Uh, we need bins and stuff. That's a good point. Because otherwise we're going to have a lot of trash. Like this is going to create a lot of trash. We're going to buy like burger wrappers and they're going to chuck them on the ground and then I'm going to be sad. We'll also get them some benches there. Definitely want to put a couple of bins around the place. Try and use the recycling ones where we can. Right. Viewing devices and speakers. This is kind of the other half of the game. You have to go for education. Like, there is an education score. Like, if you look at this, you've got guest education rating is one of the five things. I guess happiness is apparently great, but... Education is something that we need. So educational speaker. And then we can dot this around the place now. We could put this here and just hit a few people. But what I'm thinking is we'll probably want to chuck one like here. Get to talk about snow leopards and then bam. Now, one downside on this is you can't have it overlap with a different speaker. If they do, you've got, like, two voices, like, speaking at you, and you can't understand what's going on. So, we'll leave that like that, and then maybe just bring the volume down a little. Yeah, make it a 19. And you'll notice that people over here are a little bit, like, I can't quite hear it, so I think we'll just maybe... Yeah, solid. We'll leave it at 20 for the moment. We've only got the one speaker. Why not? And then we'll also want to get ourselves some, like, educational stands. These have TVs on them. And that can display stuff on the Snow Leopards as well. Um, I think we'll go for one every window. Education is a really important factor. I think the park inspector comes around every two years, and when he does, he basically measures only two things. One of them is, like, how happy the animals and the guests and stuff are. And the other one is education. Are you doing the education? You need to do the education. You're, you're a zoo. You should be educating the public. And I'm like, okay, calm down. Right, now, snow leopard... Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard. Yeah. Rawr. And you are standing in the donation bin, okay? Rawr. This is bugging me. I'm gonna... Just... There we go. A lot of people using our facilities. A lot of people, in fact, that is... Probably should have made, like, a little queue or something so that they could not all just back up that much. I might have to just make adjustments to that at some point in the future. But for now, we'll do. Oh! Are you cured? Yes! Awesome. Welcome back, Not. Rawr! Oh, you're a lot smaller. Um... Size, 33%, yeah. What about you? Yeah, 66%. Still not full size. Oh, <gasps> kitty, can I go to sleep? Hey, kitty.
Now, if we're lucky, they'll go play with each other. Oh, so pretty. I do love the animations on these animals. They're so good. Don't, don't attack the speaker. We need to get you some toys. Hopefully you'll finish the research soon. Ooh! Ah, oh, thought you'd come to play with each other. Okay. Right, that's our first exhibit. We have ourselves some snow leopards. And they are cute. I really do like snow leopards. Uh, what we'll probably do next is try and fit in something that doesn't need much room in here. I don't know what would that be, maybe like tortoises or something? Um, then we could probably put in some really basic stuff here. And then maybe get some crocodiles around here. Something simple like that. Also note that in the game currently, your keepers are terrible about doing food. Like, the food still hasn't been filled up. You'd think they'd be like, hey, objective objective one. The food? Do the food. Uh, carpet accessible staff room. Right, we've actually got too many people in the staff room already by the look of it. Yeah, four people in the staff room any one time. And so people are like, hey, I can't in the staff room, there's too many people in there. Or actually they're saying, hey, I can't make it to the staff room. What they're saying is, hey, I can't make it to a staff room that has space for me. Uh, so we need to put in another staff room somewhere. That's probably the last thing we will do today. Where do we want to put that staff? You know what, we could put the staff room right here with this thing. Uh, facilities. Staff. Room. There we go. And with that, we are good. Oh, that is so good. So good. You're much more chill. Wait, have you got cuts on the side of your face? Oh my god, that's the injury you have! And it's it's like healing, which is why it's not so obvious anymore. That's really neat! Oh, okay, the camera's less neat. Oh wow! I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Right, where did you go? Ah, oh, you're here. Right, well, with that, I've been at really seem Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, like, subscribe, bell icon, and also the comment section down below. Do let me know if you want me to play more of the game, because obviously I want to be making videos that you want to watch, and if you do want to watch them, then great, and let me know down below, because it's really hard to get feedback with YouTube, because, you know, subscribing does nothing anymore, so do let me know down below if you want me to play more Planet Zoo, and I will do so. But for now, I've been at Rissium, and stay shiny.